Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Archangel Yu-Gi-Oh! Today we'll be going over my uh, Trap Shadal deck profile. Now this is just um, average Shadals with a uh, trap lineup. But um, I find I find the deck is can do pretty well, can perform really well. So um, without further ado, let's just get into it. So I play three Reshadal Wendy. Uh, Wendy is the, probably the best card in the deck. It tutors out any other Shadal on face-down defense from the deck. Um, it's also a wind, which uh, is helpful for App Cologne plays, which App Cologne doesn't come up too often, but it does come up every now and then. But uh, yeah, Wendy's probably the best one. Plus it's a Psychic, which um, it can play around. There can be only one and stuff like that. Next, I play three Squamata, probably the second best shit all in the deck. It tutors out any shit all grave effect. Not much more to say about it. Two Hedgehog, it's probably one of the, the also one of the better shells because it can search a monster when sent to the graveyard, and then when it's flipped, uh, it can add a spell or trap. It's just very versatile. Uh, two Beast, I find a lot of people only playing one Beast, but I find that drawing is a really good effect, and sometimes you just want a tribute set, honestly. Uh, if you've got like a Hedgehog, you, you can flip it face up. And then tribute set the beast for it to get its flip effect and make sure you don't have a weak body on the field if you can't link it off or something. But um, yeah, I'm not playing 40 cards exactly, so I don't usually brick on beast. Uh, one dragon, just generic removal. One falco. I find a lot of people cutting falco, but I actually I actually like it. I find that it comes up quite a bit in recursion in grind games. Next, I play two Aerial, uh, just because it's good for looping Construct, and I play the second one because banishing from my opponent's graveyard is very helpful sometimes. I find it comes up a lot. Next, for the non dolls, I play one Damage Juggler and one Trick Clown, just because they're generic lights with, re with good uh, recursion effects. Next, for Hand Traps, we're on three Ash. Uh, it's not, hand Traps aren't the best this format, but in this deck you kind of have to run them in case you go second. But, um, yeah. So three Ash, three Ogre. I find this card hurts Rogue decks more than anything, and this deck kind of struggles against most things. Honestly, it's it's a good deck, but it just it just it just has its weaknesses. But um, I find Ghost Ogre is a good card. It comes up a lot. Plus, it's a light for Arm Shadow Fusion, so it's not usually dead in hand. Next, I play three Ghost Bell. Now, this card originally was Nibiru. And then I realized, hey, Nibiru's not a good card this format, so I changed it with Ghost Bell. And it's actually been coming up a lot more than Nibiru has. I mean, I know Ghost Bell's an Earth and Nibiru's a Light, but Ghost Bell doesn't restrict you. It, it has no restrictions. You can use it whenever you want, unlike, um, unlike uh, Gamma. So I find that it's fine to run, because you can use it whenever you don't have to control no monsters. So yeah, next we are playing the Gamma Package. It's, if it was any other attribute other than light, I would not play it. But because it's light, they're never dead in hand. Um, if you activate all Fusion to Ash, you can Gamma it. And then you've got two more bodies, two light extenders on field. You can send the driver to the grave to be able to use Gamma again later in the grind game. Uh, moving on to the spells, should all spells. We play three Shadal Fusion, because Fusion deck, you always want to see this. Three L. It's just, you know, another fusion card. It's a quick play, so you can use it in the battle phase to OTK. Um, one and one of the traps. <laughs> now I know that um like cosmic cyclone is a problem right now. It's not it's not you're not gonna see it like every game, but cosmic cyclone if if they know you're playing a trap deck, they're gonna either play lightning storm or cosmic cyclone. I find lightning storm is a lot more common right now. So I mean I might bump this up to two if I start seeing more cosmic cyclone. But yeah. Um, Foolish Burial, just one, because you can only run one, but, um, it's, it's any shit all in the grave and their effect. Moving on to the generic traps, I play three Sinister Shadow games, um, it's an interruption, and it turns any set shit all into another interruption outside of the battle phase. Uh, three Torrential, it, it, uh, triggers shit alls, it's just pretty good when, um, b right before they set up a negate, you can just Torrential and they're kind of... Screwed if you're playing against combo. 
three dino miscus it's just great removal plus it triggers the shadows when it because uh, it discards for card effect not cost and then two cards that i am experimenting with um two copies of dogmatic of punishment now um this card is interesting because um you get to send your shadow fusions to grave and then they can trigger in the grave to add back a Shadal Spell or Trap in the grind game, or you can send App Cologne to search and then discard a Shadal Monster and get its effect. I haven't really tested it too much, but I've found that it, it does come up. So that's it for the main deck. I believe it is 49 cards. Um, if I find that Punishment is working really well, I would bump that up to 3. If you find it's working really well, you can bump it or cut it. It's honestly up to you. So moving on to the extra deck, we play Triple Construct because it's the best Shadal monster in the extra deck in the deck anything it's it's squamata plus it adds back on the uh, it's squamata on summon plus it adds back when it hits the grave not once per turn on any of its effects which is insane two copies of winda uh you don't really need the third the third one never came up for me when i was playing this deck with uh three winda so i cut it for um another card i just it's it's Winda, it's the Floodgate that everyone's playing right now, except Vandy's Ruler and VFD. Well, it's the Floodgate control decks are playing. Uh, one Apcolone. I usually make this instead of sending it off of Punishment, but I have found that Punishment sending Apcolone does come up to add, um, to do what Invoke Dragma does and just add the Schism, or you can add another Speller Trap, or another, uh, one of the Fusion Spells. One Gravity Controller. It's just, it's Gravity Controller, it's... You turn Construct in the extra monster zone into this. Then you've got a Schism in your hand. It's just pretty good. One Verte Anaconda. Um, this card has not come up yet. But I feel like that when I'm going to need it, it's I don't need any other cards in the extra deck. Like, I'm not running low on space. But I find that um this card just... It's really good. Um, if you want to play the Dragoon Package, you can. Like, it's not it's not going to brick too hard because you're playing 49 cards. But I just really like it to send fusion spells if I brick on Shadals. Um, one Cross Sheep, because it's Cross Sheep. It's just, you got to play Cross Sheep in fusion decks. One Nightmare Unicorn, just generic spell and trap removal. It's good removal. Uh, one Shadal Construct, the uh, Link Monster. This card is... um. It's interesting. It's come up a few times, but honestly, it's not the most important card in the deck. Uh, one Mascarena. It's Mascarena. It's really good. You can go into our next card, Unicorn, to get an extra interruption. And then um, for our Link 4s, I play Boral Sword and Unchained Abomination. Unchained Abomination is probably what you're th sitting here thinking, why are you playing that? Well, um... I mean, I don't have the best ways to go into it, but you can cut this card for Avermax, Appaloosa. I find I do have an Appaloosa coming in the mail, and when I get it, I will cut this card for it, so just treat this as a proxy for Appaloosa. But, uh, yeah, but I have been playing with Unchained Abomination for now. Moving on to the side deck, uh, one Mind Control. I find that it's good if your opponent has a Dark Monster and you don't draw into Super Poly, because, hint, hint, we do side deck Super Poly. Oh, you can easily mind control their monster and then should all fusion it away. It's just good removal. Uh, three Imperm. Now, Imperm's not the best right now, but I find it's good against certain matchups, and that's when I side it in for another hand trap that's not the best in that matchup. Um, next, we have three Super Poly. Yes, I know, I gotta flex the ulti, woohoo. <laughs> but um, I side deck this card because I feel like that um, it's it's... It's more of interruption than like a board wipe. Cause I can easily just like set a shit all monster and then as soon as they summon a dark monster, flip super poly, make Winda. And they're kind of they're they they can't do much because they've exhausted a couple of resources to make that dark monster. Usually you want to do it a little bit into their combo. Or you could use it or you could use it on like Ecclesia to make a construct and get another interruption. But uh yeah. I just find that Super Poly has it's it's just a good card, honestly. This format. I mean, not not. It's not like the best card this format, but I just I find it comes up a lot. Uh, one heavy storm duster, and two twin twisters, just because I couldn't find my uh, third twin twister. And heavy storm actually came up in um a mystic mind matchup at locals, where I sided this. I sided all my back row hate in, and he imperial ordered. So I was digging through my deck, and he was like, "Come on, man, do you have an out or not?" And I heavy storm dustered him, for the mystic mine. 
and um, it actually it actually won me the game because I was able to just attack with um dragon a couple times. A uh, harpy's feather duster just gotta play it. Three, Doctor No More because this deck does struggle a little bit going second with all the traps. I do set out a lot of the traps if I know I'm going second. And for stuff like Doctor Doctor Ruler No More and Super Poly, and then one called by the grave. Just because it's that one, so you shouldn't not play it because I mean it's an it's an insane card. But um yeah, that about does it for the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.